final season in the making. What a moment and a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to take it. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson. Kerry Wood. Roger Clemens. is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the National League Division Series between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. season is officially in full swing lineups and first pitch coming up next the crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your 2017 New York Man. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting lineup. Harold, what's the focus for this lineup as they look to lock up the division series? I think the sinker ball is the toughest pitch to hit because you're told all the time to look down for a ball, and every pitcher's told to get it down. But then when you start to swing and the ball sinks even more, that's when you get ground balls. So you've got to go there with a real good game plan of making him get that ball up which he knows he's not trying to do. It's a tough battle. Steven Matz will do his best on the mound to keep his team alive here in the division series. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I love the fact he mixes them well. And we'll just see if he's on today. That means he's throwing strikes with all of them, and he'll have a dominant game if he does so. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain. Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, and I love that first step. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Flipped out the other way toward short. But there to flag it down is the shortstop Reyes, and that's out number one. Shortstop, Javier Ryan. Here's Javier Baez. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. A handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. He also has one home run. Hard hit ball to second. Cabrera's there on to first, and there are two down. Batting third, third baseman, Chris Bryant. 
Here's Chris Bryant now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he just misses with a curveball. Matt, nobody likes to get blown out, but I look at it this way. I'd rather get blown out and say, forget it, boys. It's time to play ball instead of losing a one-run game and thinking all the things you could have done to win that game. Now you're in a situation, go put some runs up and go take it to them. Forget about it. You can't do nothing about a blowout anyway. Again, he sends it out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. HR, what are they going to have to focus on to try to win this one and stay alive? This is going to be a dog fight tonight. They are facing a premier pitcher. I'm talking about one of the elite guys in the league. I want to see if they make little tweaks to how they might attack him. Are they going to lay off that nasty breaking ball with two strikes? Or will they be able to drive the ball to the ballpark when they get that one pitch to hit? This is going to be a great matchup. time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Cubs and I'm looking at John Jay you know John Jay doesn't run real well but you would not know it he gets such great jumps on balls that he's places he should not be you think the ball's going to land and then you see John Jay sitting there waiting for it. Two and one now to Reyes. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Jay has a read on it. One out. Batting second. Second baseman has dribble Cabrera. Now here's Lackey's three two. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Left field and deep. Schwarber going back to the track. But he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he will make it up to second as he advances on the throwing miscue. My goodness. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. swing and a fly ball and this will wind up a foul ball
Mayfield. Try it again, three and two. And look out, that's in very tight, and it's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do Batting was four. give him something to hit in the heart field. of the zone. So no Here harm done. Back. Force out Batting. anywhere now. Coming to the plate now, Joanna Cespedes. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. In there, and it's even now, two and two. That's the perfect pitch after you've just rushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now both runners are breaking. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Count is full. Here's the pitch takes this the other way to right. Caesar brings it in, and now they might have the runner caught off second. Now a throw behind the runner, and it's in time to get him. And that, folks, is the danger of the hit and run. We played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And another foul ball. Turned on down the line. Flores has it, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and the leadoff man set down to start the second. No score here as we play inning number two. Foul back. One and two, here it comes. Now a swing and a miss, he struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. So with two gone now, here's a look at our playoff brackets. And the winner here will earn a date with the Washington Nationals to decide this year's National League crown. Now at the plate, Ben Zobrist. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Cabrera's up with it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So striding forward now, David Wright as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second. Here's the one and one pitch. And a curveball that time that broke too low. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one working the plate Rusty Valentine. Matt my man Rusty Valentine. I just like saying the name Rusty Valentine. OK I'm supposed to talk about what he calls. Look he's a little accurate on the corners. He's not going to give you much but he's accurate. But if you go up and down you might get some calls. Jay has a read on it. 
Makes the play one away. Batting six. First baseman, Wilmer Morris. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. And he got him. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Stepping in now, Travis Darno Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Lackey ready with the one-two pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Into the windup, here comes the two-two pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Juan Ligaris would be next. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Batting eight, center fielder, Juan. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Well, that two-seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Go, Matt. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Mm, three and two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Lackey comes set. Here it comes on three and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And Rizzo won't get to this one. It's a fair ball. And he'll make it up safely to third. So they're at the corners now with two men out. Well, there's another hit by him here in the postseason. You talk about impact players. This is how you impact the series, the way he's been swinging the bat. Into the box now. Steven Matz a little bit outside two and one well he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already he's starting to lose location of that strike zone he's got to throw a strike right here ready with two balls and a strike tough slider down low for a strike Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Hit out towards second. Throw won't get him. And the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. He 
is set and the 2 1 pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much to it. Ray is awaiting the three one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. We're in the second. one nothing Mets early on. Skied into straightaway right. Caesar has a beat on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We'll go now to the top of the third. Mets out in front, one to nothing. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that's the first hit in this one for the Cubbies. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Into the box, John Lackey. A textbook sack bunt situation here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Bunting here is Lackey, and he gets it down. Reyes on to first to complete the double play. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball, too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. In now, Matt Caesar. This is hit on the ground, but foul. One and two, here it comes. And that misses two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Falling for it, Conforto. And that ends the inning. Nothing happened there for the Cubbies. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Riding in once again as Dribble Cabrera. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. From the windup, the 3-0 pitch. And good nope. patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that's what you want from your leadoff right hitter. Builder, Shows some Irving. great patience and discipline, Michael, making the pitcher Arno. labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. He drew a face on balls his first time up. One and one, here it is. And a fastball just a bit high. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. On, 
Ready is Lackey. The pitch. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. He walked the first guy. Now you're sitting here three one. You have to get your pitch to hit. Don't let him off the hook. Sent on the ground out to second. To second for one. On to first, and it's another double play. Already two of them here in the first three oh, innings so far. Nice job on the mound Your to bounce West. back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Standing in now, Joanna Cespedes. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you. Digging in to try it again, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Working for the punch out and the offering on the ground to the left side. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. In now is John Jay. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Bounce to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter number nine, shortstop, Javier Baez. Digging in for his second at bat, Javier Baez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One and one, here it comes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And now a lunging catch, and he does a full gainer as well, but somehow hangs on for the second out. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Chris Bryant. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Sinker, three and two now. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. The three, two, one more time. Drill down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Lagares looks up. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second home run of the series. And the Cubs are back to even now with one run apiece. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Into the box now, Anthony Rizzo. 
can't connect there. It's two and two. It looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What well, is so hard about a sinker? You have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But the Cubs draw even thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up, all even at one apiece. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. 0 2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. There to take it is Jay, and he's got it for the first out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The payoff pitch one more time. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first gets him and Lackey looks to be in control here. There are two away. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was at first. The skipper's out of the dugout and it looks as though he might decide to challenge that out call. Yeah, he may that, but I think he'll see what his replay guys think first. Looking at it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he was out or not. Tough call. So here's the signal from the dugout and it appears they will decide not to challenge the call on the field so the runner is out at first. In now Juan Ligaris starts to go around but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Lagaris will go to second base. And he is in the second with a two out double. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started. And after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Standing in now, Steven Matz. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Here's the 2 2. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's another 2 2. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Jose Reyes would be next. On its way is pitch number 75. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. Back with more of game four on MLB Network right after this. At the plate, Kyle Schwarber. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Lifted the other way to left center. 
On the move is Ligares. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The second baseman, number 18, Ben Zobrin. Here's Ben Zobris now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Zobris awaiting the 2 1. Softly hit out towards short. In time to first, and there are two away. The catcher, number 40, Wilson Conferro. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. A base hit in his first trip. Two out, nobody on. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. Mine to the right side. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside out. You know, you hear that Pitcher terminology, stay inside the ball John right Lattin. there. He took a ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Into the box, John Lackey. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for the Cubs. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. Now batting. Second baseman. Digging and in once dribble. again as Dribble Cabrera. It was a walk in his last trip. One out, nobody on. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. You know, it takes a lot of discipline now, to watch a pitch like that right go by, Taylor. but on a 3-1 count, Michael, he had the luxury of being a, a little bit more selective up there. Good take, and a walk is the result. Digging in, Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. From the stretch. Back up the middle. There's Baez. Zobras. Back to Rizzo and they get out of it here. A double play to retire the side. Mets go down quickly. We played five full, tied at one aside. Digging in to try it again. Matt Caesar. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. The number 9 hitter reaches base safely to start the inning. So here comes the top now of the order Harris. with a man aboard. Center fielder, John Jay. Stepping in now, John Jay. 
And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but well, it wasn't outrageous. Nine. Hey, listen, calling balls Coming and strikes there. is a really tough Fine. job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Ready for another chance? Javier Baez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. There's a changeup over the outside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key he's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Hits are now even at four apiece. Squared that one up just a little late. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Right. Yeah, clearly no problems working on the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1-2. and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto has it in his tracks. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Cubs strand one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Here's Juana Cespedes. Do up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and one now to Cespedes. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. You see there the pitch count is up to 88 and at this point in the game that's a good place to be so I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two uh, runs on the board. So five. both of these starters Amen. should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. In now, David Wright. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, first baseman, Wilmer Morris. Ready once again, Wilmer Flores. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I'll tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really frozen. Good breaking ball. 
Lackey ready with the one two pitch down the third baseline. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. A strong inning that time out of John Lackey. And it remains a one all tie. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Well, he's done a real nice job of that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. How about it? Well, fielder. Ready for another shot now. Kyle Schwarber, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he ben represents Gilbert. the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ben Zobrist. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. Well, that's going to get out of play and into the camera well. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, I don't know if that was a great take or he's just flat out fooled because that curveball was really close. What a great pitch for two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Right side hit hard. And that'll be a base hit for Zobrist. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Well, he hit that ball hard right there. I think he got a little bit lucky. If it's at somebody, probably a double play ball instead of a single. Digging in and looking for more, Wilson Contreras. And it looks like this could be a critical at-bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at-bat to watch. One run, five hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Now a ball hit hard toward first, but this is speared by the first baseman. Pitcher number 41, John Lackey. Tommy LaStella will come on to pinch hit here in a big Lackey. spot. Number two, Tommy LaStella. Two down, runners at first and second. And this is fouled at the plate. And this one's in the dirt. 
Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Lays off two and two now. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to get in, but you can't be too cute either. Two men are on with two men out. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes quickly to the infield, so that go-ahead run will have to hold up at third with two away. Right fielder, Matt Caesar. Striding in once again, Matt Caesar. One for two on his line so far in the game. Well, now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll leave in a tie ball game but he's also responsible for the three men on base and he'll need some big time help here to preserve a no decision. A.J. Ramos answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. This is on the ground a second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. Cubs lined up, leaving them loaded. Still tied, one apiece. Koji Uehara gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Koji Uehara. Digging in once again, Travis Darno, a hit in two tries so far. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, with both starters out now, and we've got a really good game here. It's clearly a bullpen game, but this is why it's so important to have that depth in your pen, because you're going to run into a lot of games like this. Well, he tried to put him away on two pitches low in the zone. He just wasn't biting. Nice job of hitting. Two and two count. Here it comes. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hard hit ball to second and this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. Well that big leadoff hit right there really sets the table for them with an opportunity to take the lead the rest of the game. Number 12. Juan Lagara. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander has begun to get loose. Standing in now, Juan Ligares. Ooh, tough to lay off there, but it's called the ball one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Enter. A A. Brandon Nimmo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number nine. Brandon Nimmo.
strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Runners on the move for second. This is lined to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Well, Matt, clearly that was a hit and run. The runner was off on the swing, and he drives the ball so hard to the outfield. They could advance Now at the plate, Jose Reyes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. On the ground towards the hole, and it's through. A base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go ahead run at third now with still only oh, one away. 13, second baseman, as Dribble Cabrera. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera. His career numbers against this pitcher, one for six. He's taken him deep once. And now the runner breaks for the plate. And they roll the dice with the squeeze, and he gets it down. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. So a gutsy call there as that takes some serious stones to call the suicide squeeze this late in the game, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Fernando Rodriguez takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Michael Conforto will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Runners at second and third with two gone. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Gonna have to make some good pitches here. Working to keep them in the game here. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here comes the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Once again, a 3 2. Smoke toward third, right to Bryant. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Mets lead this one two to one. Hansel 
Robles has been summoned from now the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 47, Ansel Robles. In now is John Jay. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right into shallow left. And this will land foul. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a liner. But there to flag it down is the shortstop Reyes, and that's out number one. The batter number nine, shortstop, Javier Baez. Here's Javier Baez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. Checked a swing there and pops this one up. And no one will get this one. Swing and a liner. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Back to back line drives. Now the first guy was out, but How man, this swing the bat pretty good. Man. These two guys saw him pretty good. Let's see right. what happens now. Into the box now, Chris Bryant. And he'll just make him throw one over here, three and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And now time is called and the reliever is warm out there. Your attention please. Now so they'll make a matchup man. move here and bring Number on a southpaw nine. to face the left-handed hitter due up. Seven. One one pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. Cespedes is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets bullpen able to stem the tide. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Mets are out on top, two to one. Digging in now, Joanna Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Thing has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. A third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Here's the one and one pitch. One and two now as this catches the outer half. So two balls and two strikes now. Hits are even at seven apiece. Three and two now. Crowd gets up for the three two. Hit on the ground to short. Baez has it. 
Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. First baseman, number four, Wilmer Morris. Settling in now, Wilmer Flores. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And that misses ball four and now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. Now batting, catcher, Justin Grimm enters here oh, no. looking to get the final out before Good the ninth inning. Three. Now pitching for the Cubs, number 52, Justin Grimm. Travis Darno will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. The next 0 2. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I like it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. A runner on first with two away. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Mets leave one. They lead it two to one. Now beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Jerry Spamilia comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. up to the plate Kyle Schwarber he comes in 0 for 2 thus far here's the one and one pitch ripped on the ground to first Flores is there and a step on first for the out three unassisted and hey if the first baseman is playing straight up there that's probably a double down the line but in order to prevent that late in the game they had him guarding the line and it obviously worked out perfectly Stepping in now, Ben Zobrist. Slider. Oh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. There's that tight slider right there. Just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it, it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Another one-two delivery. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Bases are empty, one man out. 
seared down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here he comes again, one, two. Now a flare out to left center. Cespedes is there, and there are two men gone now. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Lifetime against Familia. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Here it comes on one and one. And this is swung on and missed, so the Cubs are down to their final strike here. A sold out crowd of 41,800 get to their feet now in flushing. And this is fouled back and out of play. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. This one definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. one tonight two to one the final score New York have evened it up at two here in the division series so that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Blazak and our entire crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB Network good night everybody Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Cubs, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Yeah,